Hello everybody, how's it going? Uh, this is Eddie, and I'm so excited we got a Trove patch today. But oh my god, this is a good one. I'm sitting here with my Lunar Lancer, which I haven't even tried to fight anybody with, and we might not even get to him today, because this was a pretty big patch. Oh man, let's start with some of the minor stuff. Um, I, I got a question for you, Tryon. Uh, are, you, are you listening? Are you listening to me? You you might be because here we go. Uh, you can now rebind controllers through the settings, and you can also uh, they uh, also for build mode you can have next slot for use with controllers, and um, then it selects the next non-empty hotbar slot, so that you don't have to go back to your keyboard to switch what you're building, and. Thumbstick sensitivity has been added. Basically the three points that I brought up in my uh, video about uh, Trove's launch, bumpy start, and the shady controller support uh, that they added last second, um, which is just all three of the things. I mean, I'm sure other people were saying it too, but it was just kind of cool to see that get fixed. Um, and also... There is a couple other things. Uh, I'm just reading some of these smaller things that I had overlooked before. Like, music blocks give you three instead of one when you craft it, and then it says, sorry, Major Tom, which is funny. Um, they're really cued into their community, which is just fantastic. You can plug in your controllers after you start the game, and it will work. Um, and that's awesome. Okay, but most important thing, most important thing to be added in Trove in a long time is in this patch. The thing that everyone has been waiting for, uh, without a doubt. Oh, another thing was audio in the background. That's right, so if I leave, if I tab out, there's still audio playing. Um, barbershop. Bald. Boom. Nailed it. You can have bald characters. Everyone's been asking for bald characters. Everybody has been asking for bald characters. <laughs> uh, I'm not even kidding about that. In the live streams, they actually... People mention that all the time. <laughs> Did they want bald characters? And that there was a, there was a problem because um, all the hat styles were assuming that there would be one level of hair in between the head and the hat. And so if you added a bald style, all the hair, all the hats you would be wearing for your gear would be floating one voxel, one character voxel above. So they had to sort of fix fix that issue. Um, but uh, yeah, so we got the little answer. We could get into this now, but I, I am a little reluctant to get into this now. I think we're going to start with some of the other patch things, and I'll probably do its own Lunar Lancer video, as well as its own sha Shadow Tower video. But there is a Lunar Lancer pack, which includes two mounts, two tomes, two uh, costumes for the Lunar Lancer, and that's all well and good. I don't think I'm going to get this one, which is too bad, because it's got a lot to it. But we'll, we'll see if we can gather some of this stuff on our own. Um, if we head over to costumes, let me see this. The five per usual, five uh, costumes. And, okay, so so the Shadow Tower, you have to go to the adventure. Let's, let's, go, let's go to the club world. Let's figure this out. Um, oh, by the way, I also remembered not to spend cubits this time and actually use one of my class coins, thank heavens. So, Adventurer's Crafting Table, and we're going to go to the uh, Shadow Tower. We have Shadow Keys, we have a Moon Key required to open up a portal to the Shadow Tower on Hard Mode. And a Shadow Tower Portal, Shadow Level 1, placeable in Club World only. And it's not that expensive, so we're going to go ahead and craft one. Um... And I'm guessing this is going to be way too hard for us. Uh, wow. Oh, I got a bunch of trophies. Huh. Okay. So uh, I'm kind of running out of portal space. I think it makes sense to put this here. Okay. So uh, press E to open. Uh, so here we go. So 
Shadow Tower leaderboards, normal. Uh, six days until the Shadow Tower resets. So, the um, to unlock unlocks normal mode using a shadow key and hard mode using the moon key. Each Shadow Tower floor is made up of four shadow arenas or dungeons, followed by a Shadow Titan boss fight. Hard mode floors grant 50% bonus to damage to any class that is the only one of its kind, which uh, really rewards you, obviously, uh, for... Uh, having everyone play as a different class and kind of getting a variety then. Uh, this is... Uh, let's cut off. Hold on a second. This is reduced to 25% for two of the class and 0% if there are three or more. Uh, Eyes of Cube Thulu earned from Shadow Chest increased slightly and the Shadow Tower has replaced standalone Shadow Arena. Thus, Shadow Dungeons and Shadow Lairs no longer spawn. So that's interesting. People would always ask me, and I was actually going to do a Shadow Arena guide, uh, but one of the big things is that I just kind of hate looking for those dungeons. That's always a thing. People are always looking for the uh, the dungeons and the, the spawner things. But no more, because now we're using the Shadow Tower, uh, which is not bad. It's not... Uh, I mean, I don't know. I haven't played it yet, so I can't really say for sure. But it's uh, it's interesting, to say the least. And we will do that at some point. Uh, yeah, well, no, not today. Um, I'll do my own video on that. I, you know, I want to get a class that I actually have, uh, that I'm actually good at. But one really important thing, I love talking about business models and free-to-play games, because it's something that I think everyone should be aware of. And I think I'll do some basic leveling of the Lunar Lancer while we go. As there's no daily deals. There's, uh, there are two $20 rotating deals. There are including a cast coin, inventory space, golden canisters, and more. <clears throat> right. But where's the daily deal? I'm confused. Rotating, rotating deals of daily. I actually find that confusing. Oh, sorry. Rotating, my, sorry, there's a, forget it. Rotating deals now refresh hourly instead of daily. That's what it should say. Uh, there's no longer $5 rotating deal, but instead there are two $20 rotating deals. And they include a bunch of stuff. So the uh, new Ancient Dragon caches are now earned through challenges and on the Trove store, which has three times as many Dragon Souls, 2.5 times as many coins, but no eyes. That's a huge thing and not a lot of flux. It no longer grants Penta Souls as rare as as a rare result, but rarely does reward five coins or 10 dragon souls. So challenges now only go up to rank three and completing this rank grants full non-tradable dragon soul. Uh, Uber six now grants a four times multiplayer instead of times nine. So um, doing a challenge and reaching the highest level is harder because the bonuses is, is less. So if you're in like Uber six or it's more or less the same if you were in uh, Uber 3. Um, but it doesn't seem to reward. It's no longer the best way to grind, um, which is too bad. Get out of the spikes. Damn fool. Let's read the abilities first of all. Uh, so, chance to gain moon power and hit gather enough to become infused with the power of the moon. When transformed, you have increased movement speed, 25% reduction damage, and 50% bonus damage. Uh, Crescent spear, swing your spear in a wide arc, and charge for a second hit. Second hit deals heavy damage and knocks... Uh, yeah, and knocks your target towards the moon. Throw a spear. Use again to grapple. Each uses light area damage. Summon a spear from the heavens that increases uh, movement speed abilities. Also damages enemies caught in the air. So it's kind of AOE. So if we wanted to kill this guy, we could whoop. And then grapple. And not only that, but as you might imagine. Whee! Great for climbing around. Excellent class. Uh, okay, so the it seems like they've made the challenges a lot more self-contained, and by that I mean that they don't really affect the rest of the gameplay that much. Suddenly, it's not that hard to progress through the challenges and get those badges, uh, while simultaneously, it is a lot harder to use challenges as a way to level your gear and that kind of a thing. So that's too bad, but at least it comes in at the same time as uh, 
the old uh, shadow dungeon. We've been no, sorry, tower. We've been reading. Whoa! Oh, I got transformed. So was that a random chance thing? Is that what that said? Okay. That's a huge spear. We. So pulling pulling towards the enemy also does some damage. So if you can hit him once and then pull right over, you get some AOE. It's kind of weird. I'm having some trouble hitting him. He only stabs forward, not where you're looking, right? So this isn't going to hit anybody. Doing this, right? Right? Isn't that weird? That's weird. This should... I'm right up close. But if I stop, if I stop running sideways, that's very strange. I don't know if that's intentional or not. That would, that would be like if you were aiming sideways and shooting with your gunslinger and the guns just kept going. If you were running sideways like this and the bullets were just flying off to the right, which I don't think that's how that works. Anywho, um, so yeah, I'm not sure what I think about that challenges stuff, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, I haven't. I have to try the tower first. It does seem like the tower is going to be quite rewarding, uh, because essentially, if you do well, one one shadow key is going to go a long way. But it does. I, I'm I'm never really a fan personally. This is just a personal preference thing. Um, never really a fan of things that require me to work with other people, because I don't uh, I don't like people, and the. Uh, uh, it's just harder to coordinate that kind of a thing so it's unfortunate but uh maybe maybe we'll get to the point where we can solo some shadow arenas it is nice though that we're not it's it's a little bit more clear how long it's going to take us to get uh hey, what? whoa it does not appear oh we just don't have any styles for stabs yet that's right i forgot this is not this is not a melee weapon. It's a whole new spear. It's a whole new weapon type. Wee. <clears throat> Anywho, that's probably going to be it for this episode. Let me uh, a sec. Oh, nice. Untradable items can be deconstructed for 100 glim, so they're actually useful if you for you, sort of, if you don't have anyone to give them to. Um, oh yeah, that's right. I wanted to go over some settings. So, uh, playing audio in the background, I did talk about that. And, uh, controls for the gamepad, it's going to go automatically. I don't know what that means. But, uh, I, oh, I'll preferred gamepad, so if it's just whichever gamepad is plugged in. <clears throat> and you can swap your thumbsticks and change the sensitivity. That was the biggest problem, really. With this, it's actually playable to actually dungeon with this and not going to make you throw up but building was still kind of a question i don't know if they got everything uh in like for instance um you know using a, a loot save or, or saber or something like that but they definitely covered the vast majority of things that i was concerned about so yeah so hot bars you can use your basic attacks and your flasks, which is awesome, as well as uh, adventure mode slots like bombs and stuff, which I believe was something that you could do before. Actually, you could definitely do that before. Build mode, so you can actually access different slots and you can do place and destroy just like before, but now you can also do next slot, which is great. Uh, you can cancel with the gamepad, but it does not look like you can yeah, transfer multiple items. But you can keybind them now, at least, which I'm going to assume those work. I'm, I'm not going to try it because I don't have my controller plugged in right now. So at very minimum, and this, this is totally fine. You know, I don't think that, I think that in some ways, when a developer picks the way the control scheme is going to work, uh, based off of their playtesting, they can sometimes screw it up. But at least with this, it's, it's going to be much more open-ended. Is this a boss? Much more open-ended. Alright, so there's the number one ability. Big swing. And I thought it knocked him up towards the moon. Did it not? 
Throw a spear, then use again. Oh, what? Whoa, whoa, those abilities just totally changed place. Didn't it? Didn't that used to be over here? Oh, and now it's gone from the list. It's empty. Okay, so we got some visual bugs there. Interesting. Okay, well, like I said, I think we're going to see some videos coming sooner. Uh, also, look forward to uh, my first ever vlog. It's not, not like I'm starting vlogging or anything. Just I just need to do one because, as many of you may have noticed, I've been gone for quite some time. So I just want to explain to you guys where I've been and everything. Um, and what the future is going to hold for us. So I'll, I'll do a little vlog for that. As well as um, the videos on the rest of the stuff in this patch. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.